I've been working on real cars nonstop. So in the downtime, especially since it's winter and there's a lot of days where it's too cold to work on the real stuff, I found this guy and it was the cheapest one on eBay. One of two. The other one was like $160 plus $40 shipping and it didn't even work completely. But this one is complete. It's just a little damaged. So the body's going to need work, that's fine. I was going to make it match the 54 anyway, so all of this is going to get redone. And as far as the hydraulics, the tires are a little melted from, I guess, sitting in a storage facility in Arizona. And the electronics are all old school, toasty and roasty. I don't feel like restoring this stuff. So the plan is to pull all of the guts out of here and put them back on eBay for somebody to use restoring one of their Jesse James 54 Chevys back to original if they need any of these parts or motors or whatever. I don't know if it works. I haven't put power to it. I can't even get the battery out. I unlocked it, but it's still stuck in there. So someone may have glued it in. So if you guys need parts for your 54 Jesse James Chevy, um, check eBay as of December 2018. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and get all these guts out of here and prep them for photos for eBay. I started by pulling off the body, then I pulled the seat, then six screws from underneath hold this kind of carriage. You have to get the card out of the way first and then slide it through this hole. And now, I'm just going to be pulling all of the electronics and motors. Replacing everything with servos and a uh, multi-channel radio, LED lights, interior lighting, underglow, etc. I want to make it match my 54 when it's done. So if you guys are into RC and you got any tips, comment below what I should buy for. I, I guess I need some high torque servos to be able to lift the whole car because it is pretty heavy just the frame i'd like to stiffen this guy up it's a little flimsy it like drags in the middle you know steering servo lift servos lift servos driving motor all of it i want to replace everything and then be able to control the lights and everything from the remote as well so yeah anyway let's get all this stuff out
and there we go everything's done I'm gonna try and rejuvenate those tires because they are a different diameter on the outside than they are on the inside and I'm sure that's gonna be tough to find in the RC world so hopefully I can heat these up or something to make them soft again so that they will take their original shape I need to clean everything paint everything and then get some electronics going Alright. 